This is my site walkthrough and conversion breakdown of DealFlix. So here we are on the DealFlix homepage. What is DealFlix? Let's figure out from the homepage, even though I've thought about it and written an entire post about it already. Um, well, they give us movie ticket deals up to 60% off. That sounds good. And it's pretty basic um, or it's pretty straightforward. I mean that as a compliment. So overall, my initial reaction of the, of the value proposition is that it's pretty straightforward. Now, this, on the other hand, I'm not quite sure what's happening. So I can get it. Is it an app? I can get it in the app store. Um, I could click here. That's fine. So that's opening up a new tab and opening my app store app, or I can get it on Google play. How does it work? So let's check that out for a little bit. I'm not going to watch, force you guys to watch the whole video with me. Um, so they have an explainer video. We'll check it out. Some fraction of people will click on it. It seems to load just fine. Um, get started so I can check it out here, but I want to, I want to look at the homepage a little bit more. Immediately, I see um, an ad, first of all, and it's not rendering properly. So I'm using Chrome 47 on OS 10 Yosemite. So this, my, my feeling here, and then I see an ad here, which I kind of ignored because my eyes initially went over here. Um, keep in mind, I've seen this site a few times now, right? I do these conversion breakdowns. But nonetheless, when I look at this, my reaction is, oh, I mean, is this a legit site? Right, because if I'm going to other sites where I'm buying things now, Amazon is all not also showing me little AdSense ads, <laughs> so I can trust it. Can I trust this? I'm not sure. And then why is it not rendering properly? Right, so that definitely there's some credibility or trust issues that's showing up there. So, um, let's check it out. So now uh, we can look at some deals at B and B theaters, Shady Brook theaters. None of these. West Melbourne. So I'm, I'm here in, um, in California, in the Bay Area, and I'm seeing things for, I'm assuming, Australia. I've never heard of these theaters, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. So there's definitely some geolocation personalization issues um, showing up. Generally, when I browse other sites, they're finding my location just fine. Um, hot deals. Okay, so they've got recent movies on here, which is great. Um, and we can check those out. Let's not make a decision of what we click on quite yet. Coming soon is here. And I can create a deal alert. That's interesting. So if I had kids and they really wanted to see Kung Fu Panda, um, I could create a deal alert. I like the idea of that. Customer quotes. That's, that's interesting. So, I mean, I kind of get the value proposition. Like, you're getting me deals for movie tickets. Ever since Groupon came out, sort of all of us that browse the web... We understand that basic idea, right? That there are websites that somehow, some way, get us things for cheap. $5 for a ticket and a concession voucher, that's really cheap. Uh, so, like, I don't really need to read people's reviews. I don't, I mean, I don't even want to read it, but let's see what it says. My family of four saved up to $50, right? Like, I, I get that. I'd be really interested to see if they removed this, if anything happened. My gut instinct says that nothing would happen if they remove this. But overall, having a site with less clutter would be, um, is generally in the long term, will increase conversion rates. So over 500 locations across the country. So Georgia, New York. So we're going to see whether they have anything in the Bay Area where I am. Um, this is really interesting. So 500 locations across the country. Is it only limited to these four states, though? At 500 locations in these four states, if it's across the country, why would you just highlight four states? Um, and then this is this is uh, also and so I would I, this seems also questionable. And here's another thing about reader psychology here that that I would test just removing this altogether as well. I if I'm looking for movie ticket deals, I don't really care how many locations are across the country. Think about it. If I'm looking to join a bank where it's my main checking account and I want to be able to withdraw money at ATMs. Okay. I want to see like, is this thing going to have an ATM when I'm on a road trip in the middle of Nevada? Okay. Maybe I'll go with another bank that does, but do I really care if I need to watch a movie and get deals with deal flicks? If I happen to be traveling to Carmichael, Atlanta, um, I, I don't a car Mike, sorry, I don't, I don't hang out in the South. 
<laughs> so the I would consider just removing this. So this these are these are classic things that you can apply generally to your site or your company. Um, there are things that sort of you brag about to investors or partners or other people when you talk about your company, right? Like customers are really happy. Check. We have 500 locations across the country and we're growing. But you got to be careful. Like, is this a site for investors to invest in DealFlick um, or a partner or someone to acquire DealFlicks? Or is this the main entry point for the customer? And does, does the customer actually care about this, right? Because I'm guessing... Right, and we haven't done the user research, but we talked about it. Check out the post that's sort of below the YouTube video if you haven't already. Is that the customer only cares about the exact like one to three movies they're looking to see. They probably want to see it immediately, right? Or very soon within the next day. And then um, what kind of deals are available, period, right? Full stop. So I don't really care what kind of how many locations are across the country. I'm not really sure I care who else who said what because i i understand the value of a movie ticket and i just want to pay less for it and then finally uh logos again i'm not sure whether logos apply here um if you instead said i would test something that's more personal like um if somebody on nbc mentioned something if you know or can you put a tech crunch headline like deal flex to saving people money it's like something that to say that this is legit to counter the fact that there's an ad that is not rendering property uh, properly in the html and there's another ad and it's sort of there, there's some feeling that there's something you know interesting happening um in terms of questionability and then lastly down here there is supposedly a chat box um but they're not here by olark so generally chat boxes are kind of interesting um i think that would apply here because people want instantaneous feedback email us i mean it's too bad that they're not here right now so let's let's actually look at a movie i actually do want to see ride along so we can check out uh, view deals. I didn't really use this, but maybe I should use it. So we'll let this um, load. So while it's loading the App Store stuff, that's really interesting. Like when somebody comes to the site, does it make sense to then ask them to download the app? Or do you wait until they buy something and say, okay, this is someone who actually wants this. Um, this is someone who actually wants this now Let's get them to, to download the app so we can send them push notifications to make it easier for them to buy again. And is it a way to increase retention uh, rates as opposed to distract from the main call to action? Okay, so I had initially tried to click on Ride Along 2 as my entry point in, but I want to show a couple of things that I just noticed. Um, so I just paused it in order to not waste time in the video, but now I found a couple of UI issues. We're gonna see whether it's just my browser or someone else. When I click Ride Along 2 or any of these movies, um, oh, here we go, it's working now, all right. Initially I was getting a redirect loop error, so I don't know if that's just my browser or what. So again, there are some browser rendering issues. Now ads are literally covering this up. This is just an absolute conversion killer. There's an ad down here that seems really out of place. There's just overall some, some UI issues that could really ruin credibility, but let's see what's happening. So if these were removed though, the site seems pretty clean. So synopsis, I kind of already know what's happening. I would love to see a preview here to convince me. Um, I'm sure you could provide a link to sort of a, even a YouTube version of this that Ride Along to happily would let anyone uh, embed in their site. Uh, I want to see a movie today at 2.25 p.m. All right. So I've already picked the date, 2.25 p.m. I like this, green check marks. And now I wanna pick my actual deal. So Indie Ticket Deal, I wanna deal for two people. Where am I saving money? Aha, you save original price. You save 11%. Okay, so it's 550 originally. So. This is, uh, I mean, at this point, someone is really hot, so chances are that's fine, but it's an easy chance to reassure them. I guess this is fine. I would play with the typography and see if there are better ways to show this. So in other words, like have this in big and green saying like your current savings, 485, and then, you know, original price maybe up here, you're saving 550 right now. Um, and so that would be good. So you save 11%. I would love to just see the actual dollar amount. 